So you've received your blast sensor and I'm gonna show you what's included in the box and how to set it up. So this is what you get inside the box. You first of all get the blast sensor itself, really, really small. And then you get two housings. Now this will depend on the size of club that you have. This will work for your regular golf clubs, your irons, your driver. This is ideal if you're someone who uses one of those oversized grips on your putter, you can choose the one that suits your clubs the best. You also get the charging plates to charge the sensor. You get the cable, and then you also get a little blast sticker as well. And on the inside of the box, some really simple steps to follow. It tells you to first of all, charge your sensor. Whilst you're doing that, you can go ahead and download the free app from the App Store and sign up and create your account. Now the blast sensor can be used on any of the clubs in your bag. So once you've created your account, the next stage is to detail and set all the clubs that you currently have in your set makeup. After that, go ahead and change all the settings, whether it's meters or yards, and then you're ready to capture your first swings. So the next step is to put the sensor into the housing ready to go onto the end of your golf club. I'm gonna capture some swings with my seven iron. So the next stage is to put the sensor in its little housing onto the end of the golf club. Just pop it over and secure it in place. On the home screen, I get some really simple choices. Down at the bottom, I get training center, which shows me some drills and some exercises that I can do with my club down the blast sensor. I've got just swing, which allows me to capture some swings. And then view videos allows me to look at the previous swings that I've captured using the device. At the top where it says there full swing, if I tap on that, that's where I can choose where I'm hitting putts, using a full swing, short game or bunker. It also allows me to turn on air swings. We'll talk about those later. When I'm ready, I just make sure my phone is near to me and I just simply make a swing. Once the blast sensor has captured the data, you'll hear an audible tone and the data will appear on your screen. There's the beep. And straight away, I can see my tempo there was 2.6 to one. Not ideal for me. I'm normally better when I'm around about 2.8, 2.9 to one. But then I can look down, see all the other data, and then I see swing count there is one. And I can go ahead and hit five, six, seven, however many shots I want in my practice session. And I've got all that data instantly through my phone. Now, if you're not at a drive range or a golf course, you can still use the blast sensor and get some valuable data on your golf swing. If you back to the home screen, if I click at the top, you remember we spoke about air swings before. If I select air swings, what that will do is it will allow me to get data without actually making contact with the ball. So I can work on my tempo. I can work on my swing speed with any of the clubs in my bag. And I don't have to be at a golf facility. That's one of the features that I love because I use my sensor a lot when I'm at home. When you're recording your swing down on the bottom right, there's a little camera icon. If you hit that, you can actually video your golf swing and get the data on the screen. So if you're working on any parts of your golf swing, you can see that visually and get the data from the blast as well. So a really, really good feature, which again, I use a lot. So the blast sensor will attach to any of your golf clubs and give you that information instantly through your phone. It's one of the best devices I found to help me with my game right from tee through to the green.